Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Tyler from Valve News Network, and today I'm going to be talking about how Source 2 was just released today and all the features that are coming along with it. Here we go. So the Dota 2 Reborn beta has been fully released as of today, June 17th, 2015. And along with it comes with the first actual name drop of Source 2 itself within this new Dota 2 Reborn beta. Now, I will not be covering the Dota 2 Reborn beta once again as the Source 2 specific information I feel is more important at the current time. There will be a Dota 2 video very soon, don't worry. But what comes with the new Source 2 engine? What is confirmed at the current time in regards of the improvements Source Source 2 brings. First of all, it brings a more responsive input. Source 2 greatly improves gameplay by reducing the latency between a command and what happens on screen. Along with this is just a general enhanced performance. Source 2 was built with wide ranges of new hardware in mind. It's quite easy to forget the fact that Source Engine 1 itself is 15 years old at this point and was designed for computers that originally could only run things like Unreal Engine and Halo 1 and stuff like that. Just imagine Imagine how old that actually is. The enhanced performance is just due to a fact that it's an actual modern engine that can support things like 64-bit operating systems, large memories, and Direct 3D 11. Along with Vulkan, Source 2 also has a much larger ability to be able to be compatible with the future of VR, which of course is very important with Valve, and there is also a large support of multi-threaded CPUs, due to the fact that Source 1 could really only handle up to two, and even that was kind of unstable. Source 2 will use many CPU cores to provide a smoother experience, removing any kind of bottlenecks you may experience with Source Engine gameplay. Source 2 also has a greatly improved audio engine. It should also be stated that the Source 2 rendering software can render a lot more detail than anything that was previously seen on the Source Engine. Not only could it render more detail on a certain item, but more items with the higher detail at once. Once again, this is all stuff that ties into the fact that Source 2 runs on a 64-bit operating system flawless. Honestly. This is a beta, so there are bugs. Things like the physics and the ability to have a multi-platform Source 2 version is still currently a bit buggy, but that is completely understandable as this is the first public showing of anything regarding Source 2 itself. But it is very, very exciting to know that anybody right now can download Source 2 as a DLC in Dota. Make sure you click Properties, DLC, and then check the Dota 2 Reborn beta under your Dota 2 properties tab. Now, something that a lot of people expected but didn't expect to be announced in this kind of way is that Source Filmmaker is now going to be rebuilt in Source 2. Exactly how much Source Filmmaker will benefit from being in Source 2 is unknown completely at the current time, but it is completely known that the new engine improvement seen within the actual gameplay is going to be seen within the Source Filmmaker engine itself, and gameplay recording and editing is enormously improved and much faster and responsive on any system you use it on. There are also going to be a larger amount of Source Filmmaker features given to all the people that use that software. All of this stuff is incredibly exciting, and a lot of people don't completely understand how important it is to actually be able to have the Source 2 engine at our fingertips right now. Sure, it's only available on Dota 2, and a lot of people don't seem to very much like Dota 2, although a lot of people do like Dota 2, but this does mean that Dota 2 on Source 2 is the guinea pig platform to be be able to completely test all the bugs not just within Dota 2 Reborn, but within the Source 2 engine itself. This is important, and I recommend everybody at least go check it out. There is a lot of new features seen within Dota 2 to be able to help new players learn how to play the game correctly, and that is a great, great feature that Valve can finally implement in Dota 2 Reborn. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like this video, click the like, favorite, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. It really helps me out, and go check out Steam and download the Dota 2 Reborn beta seen under your DLC tab on the Properties section of Dota 2. Thanks for watching, guys. As you know, I'm Tyler McVicker. This is Valve News Network. Adios.